atheist will come and attack a Christian with this common question. You Christian believe that your God is all love and all powerful. Our reply will be yes, because that's the truth. Our God is all love and all powerful. Okay, then how come this God of yours, who is all love and all powerful, allowing for evil to infiltrate and expand so rapidly on a global level? Where is his all power? Where is his all love to come and save and put an end to this evilness? Now this question that is asked by an atheist attacking a Christian has an element of assumption. So I'll answer the questioner with a question, not an answer. So I'll ask you, my dear friend, when you assume there is evil, aren't you also assuming there is good? Because if they say there is no good, then I'll ask them, how did you know this is evil if you hadn't seen good? How do you know it is dark if you hadn't seen the light? How do you know it's night? if you've never seen the day. So when you assume there is evil, aren't you also assuming there is good? They will say yes. They will say yes. So since you're assuming there is a moral law, aren't you also assuming there is a moral law giver, which is God whom you are denying? Since you're denying the existence of God, since there is no moral law giver, there is no moral law. Since there is no moral law, there is no good. Since there is no good, there is no evil. Then what's your question? See, the moment we take God out of the equation, everything becomes nothing.